storyteller. His name is Miguel Carvalho, and he was born on October of 1964 in San Miguel, El Salvador. He grew up on a farm with his brothers and sisters. He has degrees in education, psychology from the Pedagogical University of El Salvador. He's married to Edith, and they have two sons, Kevin and Brian, and a grandson, Santiago. When I live in El Salvador, I sleep maybe no, 11 p.m. in front of the house. This the combat, capo terrorists and soldiers, or, or the guys, the gangs, shoot at another gangs, and this trouble. And this is my, my big dream, move to here, make the new life for me and my family. He has been in the United States since 2000 and works at CMC and Whole Foods. Put your hands together, please, for Miguel. My parents own it on a small farm. We're raising pig, cattle, chicken, rice, bean, and corn. I have a one younger brother and two older sisters. When I was five years old, I start for the school. For the next nine years, I working in the farm and continue to go to the school. For, the, for my high school, I moved to a different city than a Chinameca by the bus for Monday and back to home on Friday. I remember my friend going me all the time for play the different game, go to the river for fishing and swimming and watch the TV. It's only one TV in all town. And this in my house, I remember, my father buy the TV, but this is small, very, very small TV. <laughs> It's very, very small, maybe one square feet, the TV. But this is the fear. All people in the community is very happy, you know. But my father and my mom, they have a big heart. And the, my house every day is a lot of people inside for watch the, the TV. In my town, we have only two buses. All the time the bus is, in, is full inside. Some people use the letter in the back of the bus and sit in the roof of the bus. I did this for three years and I was my teacher diploma. And this time when I get the, the class for high school, this big problem in my house, but my mom, she's very, very sick. She have a cancer. And when I, and when I have a maybe three months close to my high school for graduate, my mom died. And this big problem, I start my classes, but my father, all the time, is big support for me. And he tell me, no, Miguel, you need to continue. Your mom now is in very good seat, but you need to continue. You have only three months for you graduate. And you start now, do you last all? Three years you put in the trash, but you know, we need money, I understand, for you, but it's only three months and you graduate. And I finish and I get my, my teacher diploma. After graduate, I back to my home, and my father convinced me I need to move to the capital, San Salvador, where I find the work. I was in work and I decided to join to the army. In the first year, I the lieutenant 
and the same time I am the comeback against the revolutionary. I am the army, I am tenant. I go to the mountain for the comeback for the terrorists. I have a, um, you know, couple bullet in my bodies. Mm, I remember I have a one bullet here. I remember one sign the comeback. I explosion the granite. All my this is explosion is big problem, no. After four years, I found the teaching position in the small school. And he has only two classrooms and four teachers. And the grades, the first to six. Same student come from 7 a.m. to 12, and another student came from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. After four years, I applied for the principal position. And I became the principal. <laughs> my, my first project is obtain the money for construction the new building. The new building consisting in three new classrooms, a library, one kindergarten class, and one kitchen. And it's in my county, is the field school the gear full free for all students. My community in my school is, you know, this the, the poor community. And I remember couple people go to the school when we give the food for the student. But the the people is not a student in the school. There's different guys. And they go only for talk to me. Hey teacher. It's possible to give me one plate of food in my house. We don't have nothing today. And I says, come on. There's no problem. We have a lot of food now. And I give the food for different people in my community, but it's no student. But the principal, the, the food is only for a student. But I help her for, for different people in the community. But for me, when I very, very younger, my father and my mom says, this must be better, do you help her for the lot of different people? And I think now I am old man, and I continue the same. For me, I help her. I, I, I look and sorry, help for the another people when I have a new opportunity. Meanwhile, I going to the university at night and weekend. In five years, I earn two degrees. One in math teacher and second degree in psychology. I am psychology. <laughs> I remember one time when I back the class for the university, I saw the beautiful lady in the role. <laughs> but now, I love you, baby. <laughs> but now, we have, a, we have, sorry, 25 years together. And we have two sons, and now I have one grandson. <laughs> for the problem, in El Salvador, for the games, I went to USA. And I put the, all my dream in my bag, and I think I made the new life in USA for my family. You know, I have a um, life in my country. I have a job, I have a house, I have a wife, I have a kid, you know. But when I get the fly to here, 
I put my my old drink in my bag. And I said, maybe in USA, my life is better. Maybe I have new opportunity. Maybe I continue my education. I remember my first job is in the restaurant in Aspen. The name is the winner is too. I, maybe I know the winner is too in Aspen. It's the best restaurant for the breakfast. Long time ago. <laughs> my boss tell me, this is your position. Do you make the pancake? <laughs> me never cook in my country. And never eat the pancake in my, in my city. I remember the first pancake, it's not out, it's a square. But I know I have a good experience for one customer. I remember it's the old man, he's from Germany. All the time he go for the, get the breakfast, eat the breakfast. He like the pancake, and, but he like put the one chop the whiskey in the pancake. <laughs> But I have a very, very good experience here. But I know I have a bad experience too for discrimination and racism. I remember I helped for one customer and I asked for him. And I told, hey, do you need help, sir? But the guys tell me, I don't need help for the fucking Mexican. And I says, I am smile. But I'm from El Salvador. <laughs> and I think, I don't know what is the problem for this guy from the Mexican. <laughs> I'm from El Salvador, you know? And other people, I talk to him. They say, do you need help? The guy says, yes, I need help for you. Do you have a cocaine? Do you have a marijuana? I says, no way. Do you see one sign my face or by sell the drug? And the guy said me, are you Mexican? The old Mexican sell the drug. And I says, you confused or this is very wrong. And the guy tell me, do you need back to Mexico? This is America. And I says, no, you confused. This is not America, this is USA. America is the name, the continent. <laughs> America is Alaska to Chile. This is the continent. Do you need to go to the kindergarten or high school or, I don't know, the middle school? When I think, oh, this is Mexican, that's no good. Oh, this is Salvadorian, it's no good, you know? We have a big problem, but when the people we think or we have a the opportunity of living together, I think so the life for all communities more rich, much better, you know. But we need to use the different culture for the progress for the community not for separate the community. But now, I have a very, very, very good new life here with my family. I have a very good friend. I have a very good job and friend in my job. I see the ladies here. We work together in the hopeful in Carlos too. And principal have a very good friend. The name is Peter. Who is Peter? He's my tutor. I am very, very happy this program, English and Action. Now I have one year for my tutor, and I think my English, they have a couple, a little more progress, you know? 
I don't have a nervous. I talking for the another people in English. I understand more English, but I know if me I speak perfect English, I don't work in, in the store. Maybe I am a teacher in the college. Maybe I am give the class for math, private class. The old people, they don't like math here. Maybe give the class, you know. But I need English. Let's thank you, Peter, for giving me the time one day for a week. And now, very, very good, happy with here in USA. And me and my family. We live in the new place in the community. Oh, in the new life here, we're talking for different people, the different country. And we have a friend. We can live in peace. All USA, all in the world. God bless to El Salvador and God bless to USA. Thank you. We need more education. We need more program, program sorry, for this, for English in Action, or different program, the, the community. We need more helper here. When you have a good education, do you have the opportunity? Do you not get the racist? <laughs> You know get the discriminate or you know get the the problem when you have a good education.